Okay then, so I'd like to say a big thank you to Fractal for sending this out for review. This is the Lumen S36 RGB all-in-one liquid cooler. So let's get the unboxing done. So we go like this. Okay, so wrappers off now. Let's get this open. So here we go. Right then, so you get this little user guy, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably just telling you your overall uh, user guide, just telling you the overall specs, stuff like that. And then we get this. So here are the mountain. So here, the RGB. But then you get your bracket then for Intel with a and look at that alcohol disinfectant wipes. Wow. Ah, oh, sound. I've never seen actually that with any cooler I've actually looked at. Okay, let's have for these fans. Okay, they're tied together, but oh well. So these are the Lumen fans from Fractal. Now I've never actually looked at a Fractal product. What I will say, the fans look uh, rather nice. Hmm, but they are RGB. Yeah, yeah, they are. I can see individual. I don't know if you can see that, but there, see? There's like individual LEDs inside the fans. So that's good. At least it'll have uh, individual illumination from the LEDs. So let's put this back now. Get these back. Right, so. Okay, so move these over here. Put them back. Now let's have a look at the radiator and the block. Shall we? Oh, really? Okay, so, out, right. So, first of all, it comes with this type of pump inside. Now, generally you want the pump the highest of the loop, but I know that MSI have had issues with this, so I'm going to have to test to see if there's any issues with the noise. So yes, I will do a noise test of that actual pump to see if it's, any, if it's loud or not. So, and it's only a three pin. A lot of you actually doing four pins now. Oh, actually, it comes with pre-applied thermal paste. Now, I like that. I wish more brands would actually do that. Now, ooh, okay, I like the cover. It looks nice. Basic braiding, and that's pretty much it. So let's get it installed now and have a look at what it looks like. Okay then, so with the 5900X out of the box settings with the Lumen S360 RGB from Fractal Design, the testing I do, did is exact same testing I always do, Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test. Now this is a 5900X out of the box settings with nothing adjusted in the BIOS. So just as you get it out of the box. So for Cinebench R23, the idle was 30 Celsius with a max of 60. Blender Classroom, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 58. Blender BMW, idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 58 again. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 30 with a max of 61 Celsius. Now it is the 5900X with PBO and XMP enabled, and here are the results. Cinebench R23, the idles were 30 Celsius again. The max was a 76 Celsius, Blender Classroom. The idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 74. Blender BMW, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 74 again. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 71. And for the first test, out of the box, te uh, out of the box testing, the idle, what uh, the max wattage it hit was 140, and with PBO and XMP enabled, it hit 180 watts during the testing. Okay, this is pumped pump test for noise now this is the pump a 100% fan 100% uh, if you can hear that then 
you know, it's not that loud really, you know, not very loud, but still. Okay, so this is the Lumen S360 at 50% fan speed. It's not very loud, but this is a, I know it's not the most accurate, but it's to give you guys an idea of what it sounds like. Now, 100%. Okay, so you've heard what it sounds like, you've heard what the pump sounds like, you've seen what comes in the box, you've also seen and heard the thermal testing. Now, what I will say is I like the RGB. If you are a fan of the channel, you will know that I absolutely a big advocate for RGB. Got RGB on my test, on my main Edton rig and I get RGB in here with the Shadowbase 800 FX from Be Quiet. Now, what I will say, mounting straightforward. There was a tiny bit of air in the, inside the pump at first boot, but after it kicked into windows, the gargling went. So that could be because of the positioning of the pump, but that could just be one of them things. But other than that, the performance, well, it performed well. It's probably one of the best AIOs I've tested so far. But before I say that, I want you guys to remember that at this particular time, now we're in autumn and the temperature outside isn't as, isn't as high as I previously tested other AIOs. Remember that... When it comes to ambient air outside to the inside, it's going to be a couple of degrees difference. But if it's cold outside, generally it's going to be cold in the house. So just remember that. Always put that into account that there is always a margin of error when it comes to testing for thermals. So, you know, it look, it's a good AIO. If you guys want to buy it, I will leave a link down below for you. And of course, big thank you to Frack Design. It's been a pleasure to review it, to test it, and actually check out a different AIO brand. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.